Hey, I'm at Interbike. We're looking at 2017 stuff from Raleigh. Yeah, I've reviewed a few of these different models. I've even seen, I think, so this is the Redux. This is kind of like a new model for me, but I've seen some of the other bikes. And what, what struck me is that like the battery is integrated and you've got like the Bros or Brose. Am I, am I calling it the right thing, first of all, Chris? Yes, yes, it's the, the Brose motor. Redux, though? Redux, oh, yes, the Redux IE. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get it all right. A lot of you're, European you're names and stuff. Job. Yeah, Kurt, so what's your role at the company? Uh, director of product. Okay, so you were involved with like sculpting this thing, yeah? Yup, the latter end of it. I came in at the latter At end. the very end, you're like just a flourish, right yes. at the end, adding. Just the spice at the end. What's your favorite part of this bike? Uh, the integration of the battery and the motor. And removable though, still, yep. right? Like it looks so like you can take that right out. Charger's magnetic, like a, like a energy you know, bus. In the, uh, the Cupertino area. Uh huh. Um, really quiet, belt drive motor. Nice. Well, I'm familiar with the Brose. It kind of uses mm -hmm. a little bit of a cadence slash torque, so yep. pretty dynamic on the bike that I've yeah, tried. Really on. intuitive, so the rider feels like it's just assisting them without feeling any extra bump. So it's very, very smooth. And you said belt drive. I was like, well, there's a chain, but the belt, you're talking about inside the inside. motor. So, so it's a geared motor, but yeah. there's a smoothing agent, like that belt thing. Yeah, so what you probably know is that these guys are from the automotive industry, that they're most famous for making 5 million seat motors for BMW. Whoa. So, so wait, what's a seat motor? You know what, just your. Oh, the, uh, uh, that's what that is? Well, okay. I think they'd probably argue that it doesn't go. Uh, uh. Oh, it's super silent. Yeah. would be their thing, right? I, I like sound effects, I guess. Well, then we can make it, but you have to put it in <laughs> You could add it aftermarket. Yep. Okay, so you've got the quiet, very responsive, and super integrated. Like, yep. that's the thing I notice now when we have you Bosch and Impulse and Yamaha. And yep. then the Bros, Brose is like one of the most tightly integrated. And on this bike, you know, we're really getting to that sweet spot of looks like a regular bike yep. right it's just so tight what tell me is is this like an aluminum alloy frame we're looking at yeah all 6000 series aluminum the fork is uh, made by a process called SPF so it's formed uh, two color paint with some reflectivity yeah um, disc that. brakes of course okay. so we're really happy about the way it looks and it's nice and smooth a little bit aerodynamic so Maybe it can give you some more range on your battery. Well, and you want to be aerodynamic when you're going 28 miles per yeah, hour, right? right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Dude, I like that. Speed Pedelec right here. And this is the new display that I think is removable. Like, I'm always talking about how you want to just be able to pocket that, leave your bike at the rack. Uh, I was I was messing around with one of these earlier. I saw it on another one, and I think I, I, think I missed. There's a USB port. And I was trying to get that, yeah, so you have to set it down from the top, slide it down, I'm gonna have to mess with that. Is that, is that a USB port on the bottom? It is, yes. It is, can we, is this swiveling up? Can we, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. Is it a, a regular size or is it like a micro? Let's see if we can, let's see if we can. Yeah, I don't wanna break anything. Neither do I. Everything's set up just perfectly for these displays and then I come and mess everything up, Chris. Uh, you can't sorry. mess up, it's pretty, pretty durable pretty bike. Pretty durable bike, yeah. I love the integration, the wires and stuff. Yeah, full it's size, good. full size right there. Yeah, and this would totally angle up. It's just a little tight. So you could have your phone, yep. you could, yeah. Is there any kind of app integration with this? Uh, not for this system right here, but we, there are other systems that you can use that can integrate it into a phone-based drive system. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, and a lot of times I just use my phone, but when I'm using GPS with Waze or something, mm -hmm. it drains it. So being able to tap in the battery. Yep. Uh, what is this going for? Like, what's this? What's the price point? 3200 3200 bucks. Yep, 3200 okay. bucks. Awesome. Uh, you mentioned you're kind of like product and sculpting is towards the end. Do you know much about like the history of Raleigh real quick? Can you give me the, the quick corporate level, you know. Wow, I can tell you It's that. like a British brand, right? Like goes British way back. British brand, Nottingham, England, 130 years old. Yeah. Many people come here and say, oh, my first racing bike was. Yeah, well, I did Raleigh. many hard miles on a Rally Professional Mark One or Mark Two. Yeah. Um, this bike over here, the Superb, that's a name that we've had um, for many, many years. Oh. So we've had many customers say, oh, Oh, superb, I used to have a superb. Nice. And then they also follow it with, oh, I'm stolen. Oh, really? <laughs> many people say it was stolen. So there was obviously a, a time when the bike locks were very bad or our bike was very desirable. Oh, yeah. A combination of both, I'm not really sure. This is a nice reboot right but here. That was very funny right there. Yeah, many interesting. Times heard that. Looks very comfortable, kind of the upright, so classy. This is, this is a very classy kind of retro inspired bike mm -hmm. um, using the superb name. We want people to walk up to this bike and almost not realize it's, a, it's an e-bike. And the idea would be that someone might be able to expand or extend their normal bike ride yeah. and be able to go a little farther. So a lot of times people live on the hill, maybe they work in a valley or the, the park is in a valley or the bike path is in a valley. So the, the idea that here is that you ride your bike to the park and now you can actually ride your bike back. Or if it's a hurdle, to, you know, if before you said, I only live five miles from work, I'd love to ride to work, but I have a hill to come up after yeah. work, I don't want to do it. 
maybe this is one of those things that can help them. Okay, so part of what makes this blend in and look more bike-like is that maybe you put paneers on it or, you know, and all yeah. of a sudden the battery disappears, but the motor is super small. Can you tell yeah, me so about this? this? Is called, uh, this is a very small hub motor that we got from our European partnership. Okay. And this right here is a, is a planetary drive um, not a super powerful hub motor, but enough to give you enough of a boost. I see 350 watts. That's kind of in America. Yeah, it's yeah. So not this not is bad. not a 28 mile an hour speed pedelec. It's a nice little, um, nice little boost. Get around town. Good range. And get it yeah. yeah. What's do you, do you know the battery? I, I noticed 48 volts, so you're getting a little bit higher voltage to get a little yeah. zippier, maybe. Yeah. The range is around is around 40 miles in this. Wow. So it's not too bad. That's sweet. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it overall. Like that. And the kickstand. Thanks for mounting that like backwards so it's not like right there where the crank arms are, it's out of the way. Yes, yeah, so we can thank the Europeans for their uh, their help with that. Yeah, awesome. Well, sweet. What's that one up there? Maybe That's I'll our more stylish, you know, that's a very famous uh, retro glide. Kind of a cruiser inspired bike, something that's very popular in Southern California. Or yeah, cruiser. And it's got the cantilever type frame looking. Yeah, this, uh, so that's a, what we call our M16 mid, -mo mid drive motor. It's still very powerful. The Trans X. Yep. Nice. So we're very happy with that. Those are really powerful. I, I think I was trying some of those on the other like mountain yeah. bikes that Raleigh yeah. House. Do you guys still have some of those? The Tacoa yeah. or what are they? Yeah, we still have a e Tacoa. <laughs> this year, a couple things we have from iZip is we have a, uh, a couple bikes on the Peak category. So we have a Peak 27.5 Plus and a Peak full suspension. And we also have a Sumo. All those are Bosch powered. Bosch powered. So wow. we're pretty excited about that. Big transition there. Yeah, big for us. We're very excited about that. Are we missing any other Raleigh? Yeah. Uh, Not e-bike stuff because just these two e-bikes right here on the ground and then top level over there top shelf if you will nice what about the colors i noticed this is a really cool kind of almost like a coffee color yeah, so we tried to recreate a, a, a brown color that we found that was shipped from nottingham back in the day really so, so it's like authentic yeah. yeah so we're trying to go full authentic Vintage. we really want someone to say oh, this bike reminds me of yeah nostalgia that's, that's what we're talking that's about the thing because this customer right very different customers right Young uh, yeah yeah uh, maybe their maybe their um, hurdle to ride to work is because it's a 20 mile ride each way. Yeah. Maybe this guy or gal, he or she. This also comes in a women's frame. Does it he step through? Brought, yes. Sweet. It's only going to look at maybe a five mile, 10 mile ride. Okay. But maybe there's a hill. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So I actually really like that style. And I noticed, you know, is this a all aluminum or is it a steel fork? Uh, this bike's all aluminum the way it is. We've got nice cork grips, so very, very comfortable. Yeah. The saddle's quite comfortable as well. We've got the springs. The sprung stuff. Really the grips up here. Okay. Defenders. Cool. Did we say the price on this one? I'd love to know. $1,599. Whoa. $1,600 mark. Yeah. Do you know Raleigh's uh, like return policy slash... Well, I guess I'm looking at... Um, what's that word? you have kind of a warranty situation because you've been around for a long time. There's a lot yeah. of trust in the brand. Most of these bikes, most of the e-bike systems are two years. Two years is pretty sweet. Okay. For the system itself. Are you, where, where are your dealers? Like what's the, how do people find it? Because I know you've, I've seen them at shops across the country. We sell many different ways. So for sure we have a dealer base in all across the country. Yeah. We also sell online. And your website got updated recently. Yes. There's a little chat thing, like, can we help you? Fully enabled, yep. The chat thing is very helpful. Yeah, it is, yeah. These guys are great. Um, they're right in the building. They're pretty knowledgeable <laughs> and humorous. Oh, yeah. So we're, sure to get some stories. Uh, we're happy about that. And we have a, uh, we're happy about our fit system. So the rally sizing system combined with the chat and the enabled website has been really productive for us. Good, I'm glad. It. What's the website right now? Do you know? Uh, rally. RallyUSA.com. I can edit that. <laughs> RallyUSA.com. Yes. I, I didn't You're think you would get that question, guess. right? <laughs> I guess I didn't think I would get Just that. Just relaxed. I thought the video was over. And then I pull out the yes, big Rally questions. USA. This is awesome, you guys. Have we, have we missed anything? Or are those the updates in the e-bike space? You got the... I think from, from this perspective, from Rally has a major update. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you dipped in a little bit. You were like, iZip and some of these other brands. Yeah. Maybe I want to I wanna do that separately. We're going to go check those out in a separate video. Uh, but Kurt, thank you so much. Thank you. And Chris. Thank you. And then Marjorie. She's somewhere out there. Marjorie. She's gone. We've lost her. She's out riding, having fun. See you guys later.